G'day and welcome to a sneak preview of The Spin, returning in January next year. Whoa, that was a new, a new effect there from Carl. And uh, we're very, very excited to be back. In this segment, we're going to Damnon Care Resort in Thailand again, where we caught up with our friend Wade Watts. Now, I have to apologise because when we were there, we just had a camera. We had no real microphones with us or anything. There's lots and lots of background noises, people moving tables, people on the telephone, all sorts of things. But what happened there was particularly special. Wade had undergone some experimental stem cell treatment. In fact, he's right in the middle of it. And it's the first time we'd caught up with him since he started. And he told us a little bit about it. And we thought, let's just grab the moment, regardless of all the technical difficulties, let's just film it and have a chat to Wade. Let's listen to what Wade has to say right now. Going under, I've been undergoing stem cell treatments in Canada for about six months of intense rehabilitation, um, which includes eight hours in a rehabilitation hospital every week. Um, working out, um, getting muscles in my body that aren't working, getting tendons stretched. At night time I gotta wear special boots that look like ski boots that stretch all my tendons while I'm sleeping. I gotta sleep with my feet three feet up in the air and I gotta work out every single day. And I have physiotherapists who come over every morning and help me. And after six months and not being able to even stand for six years, now with a combination of upper body strength and the ability to control my hips. I can now stand, and not only can I stand, but I can take a step, and I can walk about 100 meters before I'm so tired, my arms are shaking and everything. But if that's what I've done in six months, and these treatments can go on for up to three, four years, I'm expecting a lot better results. I'm expecting maybe one day just to be walking but just a couple regular canes instead of these things. If I could do that, that would be great. But just standing up like this is a treat for me. Um, you and I'm it. going to say it, being a man and being able to stand up and pee not only makes me feel like a man again, but I no longer have urinary tract infections or bladder infections, and my legs are no longer swollen, and I got better blood pressure. and. The side effects of stem cells are pretty crazy. I now have to shave every single day because my hair grows faster. My fingernails, my wife has to cut my fingernails like every three days. Um, so stem cells not only regenerate the parts that are broken, they actually regenerate other parts and some of the side effects are pretty cool. Is, Anyways, it, is it like, um, well first of all congratulations to your shoes because they have the, the ability now to be peed on. Yeah. which they've missed out on for many, many years, uh, or forever, so now they're, they're real shoes. Uh, when you first did it, I talked to you and you were pretty nervous about it, yes. because you didn't know what the heck to expect. Oh, well, I have no idea. What was it like the first time you stood up? I mean, that's a stupid question, but what was it like? Um, the first time I did it, it was actually in a pair of parallel bars. Yes, you know, I remember the picture. Yeah. And using the parallel bars and standing up, that was pretty cool, but I figured it was just all upper body strength. It really wasn't anything else. But my occupational therapist is, uh, he's like a drill sergeant. He uh, doesn't treat me very nice, and he calls me lots of names, and he pushes me. But I gave him permission to do that because I'm an ex-military man, and I figured the only way you're going to get me to do anything is to start ordering me around. Did you get emotional? Because I get emotional just watching you. Well, that's so what I'm saying. Did you? First time I actually got away from the parallel bars and took my very first step with these crutches. Yes. And my wife will tell you I couldn't talk. Um, yes, I had I had man tears, and I was choked up. And I couldn't believe it. I literally had to just stand there and soak up the moment. And, and she was beating Yeah, and my wife, her first thing was, oh my God, I forgot how tall you are. Right? Because she's been taller than me and now. And was she for six crying? Years. She was crying. Yep. The occupational therapist, my two physio, oh my, my two physiotherapists, they were just, they just sit by the right? And they actually, the one thing that they can get, this is the reason. 
I became a physiotherapist. Thanks, so it was a whole, everybody, even physiotherapists in the hospital who don't work with me, work with other patients, were coming over and praying. But um, how much more are you hoping for? And now I know that you can't, you don't know, it's experimental, correct? Yeah, it is. Are you right standing up? Is that it? You still okay, Stan? No, yeah, I'm still fine, yeah. Okay, so it's experimental, so you really don't know what to expect, do you? No, I have no idea what to expect, but from what's happened so far, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm very encouraging. It looks like uh, it's, it's going to be a treatment of the future. I hope it's our generation's polio vaccine, to be honest with you. You told me that you had no hopes in the beginning. No. Now, are your hopes a lot higher? Oh, yeah, no, I... Uh, I thought I was picked to do these stem cell trials. You know, I'm 52 years old. Why would they pick me? Yes. Right? And so I was like, well, you know, they just want to get somebody to get this over with. And, you know, I don't know if the Canadian government, why it took so long, because the stem cell treatments I'm receiving has actually come from Israel. It's an Israeli hospital that is giving me my stem cell treatments in Canada. Wow, that's interesting. Yeah, because they're the most advanced in the stem cell uh, research. So Canada, instead of you know, our neighbors with the USA, they chose Israel as the partner, not the USA. See, you're, you're an interesting guy because you pretty much accepted your mobility impairment, yeah, right? And you were pretty happy in life with that mobility yes. impairment. So what difference does it make to your mindset to have this happen to you? Is there a mindset difference? Um, there is because I understand now that doctors really don't know. So I was told I was going to at first go from my wheelchair to bedridden and there was no, and they gave me an electric wheelchair. They told me I would never use a manual wheelchair. Okay. So when I got good in the manual wheelchair and started living life and I started this company and started doing things, I got motivated. Okay. And then when I was picked to do the stem cell treatments, it was the same thing. In the beginning, I didn't really think there was anything because life was good for me and life was great. But I figured... If I can do it and it does work, maybe me being a research tool will help the new gen next generation. That's a fantastic thing. Right? So but you're hungry for yourself as well. Yeah. Well, I, I really didn't think it was going to work. I gotta no, I know. Myself. I know you didn't. I really did. Yeah. I, I, I'm the most skeptical person there is in the world because, you know, they've tried so many things. Right? Yeah. And there's so many things I've seen on friends who've had surgeries. How many times have people been promised and nothing happened? You no, know, I've had five operations where they promised me, oh, it was going to make you better, and all they did was did more nerve damage on me and, and made things worse. Yep. So, you know, now I'm actually being able to stand. I mean, it's, it's, it's a great feeling. I don't have much. I don't think I'm ever going to walk with her. I don't think I'm ever going to be away from my wheelchair. I don't think that, I really don't think it's going to take me that far. Um, you know, I'm just a lucky guy to be able to do this and maybe do this and help not just people in my country, but people around the world. And maybe if this does work, maybe, you know, some of the young generation that we have there now won't be spending their lives in a wheelchair. Well, if I can my accomplish that, it makes then, me happy. It yeah. makes me uh, emotional to see a friend that's doing more. <laughs> Maybe going to cut down on some of my business opportunities, but you can't have everything. Uh, but uh, I'm grateful to lose those business opportunities if this is the, uh, is the result. Now is the stage where they want to see if any more can happen. A lot's happened in a short period of time. And they're waiting to see if it'll naturally happen a bit, correct? Yeah, there's a whole bunch of things I'm not sure about. It. Like a lot of what I'm doing now is muscle memory. And I didn't realize that. That's a term I learned. I can't believe you still got it after this well, time. Because I walked for 46 years before I had my accident, yep. because of that, my legs, are, my muscles in my legs know how to walk. Yeah. It's my brain, there's a disconnect between my brain and my muscles. I can't tell them to walk. No worries. Right? So when I, and it's hard to explain, but when I pick up my left leg, it knows I, what to do. Well, it's really hard. I got to concentrate like you wouldn't believe to be able to pick that up and take a step forward. And that's probably the most the hardest part of all this is making that step. Wow. Where with this leg, it's all done by muscle mechanical. Yeah, all no, mechanical. It's all mechanical. This leg is all mechanical. So that one has so when I lift up so my hip, so I hip up my leg and it loads the spring. There's a spring What's in this thing, and it loads it. So now when I lift my leg up, it just swings forward. Fantastic. As soon as I so, release so my toe. So one leg is a little bit better than the other at this. Step. I have no feeling in my right leg at all. Yeah. My right leg is is completely dead. 
Um, as far as nerves, I have no feeling whatsoever. Nothing is, I've gained nothing in my left right leg at all. Yep. Except for, I've gained a little bit of hip movement. Okay. So where I can actually now turn my right hip and I can lift my, art, my butt cheek up in the air. Right? Well, that's how you gotta walk. That's a very useful thing to do. It is. Listen. Well, when, when you can't move your leg, it is. <laughs> Listen, uh, I'm so happy to see it. Do you mind if, if on the, uh, on the spin, we kind of keep track of this and we do some regular updates with you and you can talk about how you're feeling? We sure can. I would love that. That would be awesome. Can't say anything. No, I know. I know. It's very hard to talk about for me. I, I, I'm not usually one to have nothing to say, but... That's the good bit. No, it is. It's, it's a very difficult thing for me. I don't. It's hard for people to understand it, but you know, when I'm standing up like this and I now... And it's emotional because I look at my friends and you guys are in your wheelchairs and all I wish is for this to be something that you guys can do. It's a very emotional thing because I, all my friends worldwide, I have, you know, I'm just on my social media alone, I've got, you know, 20,000 people and they're all people with disabilities and I'm one of the lucky 40 who's gotten a chance to do this. So I feel it's unfair because uh, treatment like this should be made available to everybody. It will be. This is part of it. This is, this is part of it. I hope it is. Yes. So I, I really do. I feel have unfair a, about it. Someone's got to do well, it. Well, uh, drug companies are more about profit now than doing the right thing. Well, you and so I hope that this doesn't turn out to be something that they're going to try. You know, I'm their, their, their guinea pig. If they approve it, then it's going to become a million dollar treatment for people in Canada. So nobody will get it, only the rich. And if I hope that's that, not what If happens. they do that, we'll all band together and run over them and they'll need their own yeah. treatment. So that's that. So, you know, if I can help, it's the young generation that's coming up now yeah, that, I know. Yeah. you know, I see my buddies, young We're kids. used to it, aren't we? we? We know what we've got. We're happy. Yeah. But to know that other people will benefit from it is huge. Yeah. Well, that's what it's all about. So I can mean. you do something for me? Yeah. Sit down. I'm tired. Yeah. <laughs> no, I... Uh, I just want to say thanks, you know, with every with what you guys are doing and talking when I came here and I realized that this time I might be able to actually stand up in front of you guys, I was actually a little bit petrified because I don't think it's fair that I'm doing this and my friends can't. Well, you know what, we're just glad you're doing it. Yeah. So well, appreciate that, but we're happy you're doing it. Well. You're, you're, you're an old fart, and so is Cunha. Hmm. So it's not really That's you guys. It's not, it's show, not, it's not really you guys. It's when I see my young, like on my rugby team, Absolutely. I have a young 18-year-old boy with cerebral palsy. He's an amazing kid. He's good looking. He's got everything going for him, but he just happened to be born with cerebral palsy. A treatment like this could change his life. Yep. And, and I have any part of helping with that, then... I, it's almost like a mission that I would be given in the military. I look at this as a mission, so my wife will tell you, I work out harder than they tell me. I do more than what they tell me because I only think it's fair to the next generation that I give everything I can to this trial because it's 40 people in our whole entire country who's getting a chance to do However this. However you look at a drug company, if they're spending the money to give you a chance, you've got to pay it back with, with being earnest and That's getting right. into it. And it's very expensive. I really want to put my hand out and say shake it, but I'm not going to. <laughs> Will you go and sit well, down? Let's do it. All right, let's do it. All right, mate. Thank you so much. Well, that was Wade. And trust me, that was an emotional time for me. And in fact, a lot of us there. Again, I do apologize for the technical uh, standard, but thanks to uh, Carl for running around with the camera and doing the best he could in a very difficult situation. But what an amazing thing to see. And what a huge potential stem cell holds out for so many people. We're going to follow up with Wade. We're going to follow that story a little bit more and hopefully we can bring you some more of the uh, future results and some of his thoughts and ours in the spin. As I said, this is a sneaky little preview segment for the spin brought to you today by Simple Solutions in Australia and we thank them very much indeed. We'd love to have you back. We'll be back in January 2020. We're going to be talking about all things, not just for mobility impaired, but for all sorts of people in all sorts of situations, whether they be uh, uh, visual situations or hearing. We'll be covering the whole gamut. And we're also starting a brand new program called Sport on Wheels. So make sure you're with us next year 
and hopefully we'll all have a bunch of fun together. Thanks very much for watching this segment.